I know many of I know many of you know Ronnie or Mokure or Mokure or whatever you call his name in London. You know, he's a useless guy that is enjoying a privilege that he wants others not to enjoy. I I kind of wonder why would that uh, Tarrant continue to spend his time to talk about Peter Obi when him himself can no one day single handedly told you what he ever had in Nigeria that you are talking about. Well, Mokuru, tell me how many companies you have. Do you have any one company that employs 10 people? 10 people. Tell me. Tell me what you are doing in London. So you be in another man's country, be talking anyhow you like, because Peter would be choose to be quiet for you. That's why he keep. You know, you said this about Bona Ahmed Tinibu during the election. They threaten you immediately, you run away. They begin to say it about Peter Obi because Obi is a quiet man. But listen, I'm not quiet. This is the second time I'm making video about you. Obi spoke about the release of Mazin Nandekan, which a lot of lawmakers have been speaking about. A lot of people have been speaking about, which you, you know that Nandekan has no problem with Nigerian government. What he has problem is the system, the way they traumatize people and the system that downgrade people and stop development. You once met Nandekan, I think you actually reference him. You actually reference him. And I haven't seen any coward in my life like you. Even Peter B, you are abusing today. You reference Peter B, you call him all sorts of names, and even praise him in front of everyone. But today, look at how stupid you have been. You know, I, I look this thing by saying this to Ronald McCray because he sounds sometimes like a learned guy. But where is the learned? The learnedness is just kind of crazy. Crazy that today he cannot sit down to think. Maybe maybe drive a bigger train or something. But I don't know where he's from, whether he's from Edo, he's from um Calabar, wherever he's from, because he cannot actually identify where he's from. He's too 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 scared to do that. He's know that he has not been productive in his people. Tell me about your people that will come out today and support you. None of them. Tell me why is someone somebody like you, normally you have had the opportunity many Nigerians dream of they don't have, but you cannot see yourself in a top place. You just keep running around Abuja begging for food, begging for things to eat. You run away in London. When you went to Peter B, you ran quicker to go to Peter B in order to show yourself. When you go to there, you see Nani, can you see whoever you see, you run to him to show yourself. We have known you when you went to and when you went to Tokyo, man. When you went to Tokyo, sorry, my friend, you went there when they are talking, you say, Oh, yeah, I know you supporting Peter B. Then you supported them. Now you are talking rubbish about Vito because he asked for Nande Kanu to be released. Tell me what you have against Obi himself. Obi will buy you, buy your family, buy your entire generation. And someone like you, you are not speaking for us. You are speaking for yourself because you are just an ignorant. You are just a tyrant who is hustling like a, a, a somebody in the, in the trailer going away somewhere. Tell me one investment you have in your community that employ no less than 10 people in your community in Rwanda Democrat. I'm going to give you $20,000. In your community, tell me what investment you have, not, not 100, 10 in your community, and tell me where the community is from. And tell me when you invested, when you invested or when you build whatever it is. I was, yeah, today I was reading about um, RFI, Zaida, the um, channel television guy, you know. I see that, you know, he's trying to do some things in, the, in his community to help people. I was so impressed. Then I thought about Tarrant like you. I said, man, he said, Romeo Mokoro, I heard that Mokoro is like a, a very lost ship, you know? I, I wonder why they call you a lost ship, and that's what it is. You know, it's kind of a shame to see someone who claims to be a learned like you talking the way you are talking. Peter Obi have said writing like many people, like even the judges, even the Nigerian Federation Court have said it. He said that Nandi Kanu should be released. If Nigerian government thought when Nandi Kanu and his supporters and the people are doing is not good, you should put them on trial, put them on plebiscite, or you dialogue with them. There's no way you can win a fight with Blet. You see, you can never. There's no way. You that are thinking that you're learning, tell me where you win fight with, with Blet. You are in UK today, people. People walk their ass off. People suffer to make UK what it is today. People take their life to make UK what it is today. You are enjoying that. I wish UK government will track your idiotness out and beat the hell out of you. Thanks.